we will install Fallout 1.5 Resurrection, we will configure it properly, we will go through the fixes of common issues that appear. I'm pretty sure this will be useful for you, so hit that thumbs up icon please. Hello, welcome, let's install Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. First up you need to have Fallout 2 somewhere on your computer. I have it from good old games, I think there was a giveaway years ago. I can right click it here, go to manage installation and show folder. You will need to have Fallout installed somewhere, so you will need to have this folder. Then go to the website of Fallout 1.5 Resurrection, link is in the description of this video. Go to download and either get the installer or get an archive version and wait for it to download. I already have an installer but we're gonna try using the archive version. The installer requires admin permissions which might be a turn off or maybe even an impossibility for you. It will require the path of Fallout 2 which I can copy from the path I earlier opened and paste it in here. I guess I'm fine with the start menu folder and I don't need a desktop icon. I believe it doesn't change any other files so I can just install it along with follow 2. Let's take a look at the readme. So the readme mentions it, there is now a shortcut Fallout 1.5 resurrection configuration and resurrection the game which is a link to the resurrection folder and 4s. So it has its own exe files. If I actually wanted the manual installation, all I would have to do is copy these two folders into the Fallout folder. I'm actually gonna do it right here, right now. And I'm gonna replace all the files, even though it doesn't matter, because they should be the same. And if I hadn't used the installer before, Resurrection would not exist. And sound music, we can look at the time. I installed the game earlier at 3 p.m. and now I'm installing Resurrection currently. So now I can use the shortcut or go to the resurrection folder and use the forest config. And I guess I'm gonna go with scale two times in windowed mode because I want borderless full screen. And because this is what you get if you don't enable scale two times. Do you like this? I certainly don't. Not for playing anyways. I'm gonna stretch to maintain aspect ratio and I'm going to set this to default. Okay, setting to default actually resets the whole thing, so let's go back to this again. Gonna save and play. And I'm actually gonna combine this with borderless gaming. Uh, here, Fallout. Let's put it in there. The reason why I scale two times is because I just don't like when everything is too tiny at 1080p. War. War never changes. Okay, a big fat rat. After a while I ran into a big problem in this game. Currently the game is frozen. There are things happening in the background. The AI is moving around, but the game freezes if the enemy turn takes more than 5 seconds, I believe is the limit. Perhaps it's not seconds, perhaps it's related to specific decisions in the code, but there is a walkaround. It is a known problem, there is a walkaround, and it seems to be because of me playing in windowed mode, which I want to do so I can switch between windows quickly, and unfortunately using full screen mode causes a weird graphical glitch. The solution is to open f underscore res dot ini and search for extra, and then change extra win msg checks to 1 instead of to zero as it is by default and save a file. Unfortunately I'm doing it in the wrong folder. I have to do it in the resurrection folder, not in the Fallout 2 folder. After a while I realized my mistake and fixed it. So now I am in the correct file and I already set it to one. Okay, there's a weird gl graphical glitch right now. I'm playing it now in full screen mode. So these settings uh, prevent the freezing of the game, but there is a weird distortion on the horizontal lines relative to where my mouse cursor is currently. Direct X9, 32-bit, maybe. This unfortunately has a heavy performance hit. You can see how UI elements assemble step by step, and scrolling is extremely slowed down and also there's screen tearing, so can't do it like that. I have to go back to the default Direct X7, I think, and windowed mode. So this is how I play it and I recommend Fate Time Modifier to set that to 1. Setting it to 0 theoretically should skip all fades, but that just prevents the game from starting. Just like this. And the error message is... Failure Initializing Input Devices. 
So with DirectDraw 7 32-bit, windowed enabled, scale to X enabled, stretching everything while maintaining aspect ratio, scaling main menu buttons, metal look interface bar side art, 100 mouse sensitivity, no reverse mouse buttons, no skipping opening movies, no displaying splash screens, a fade time modifier of 1 and hiding background around dialog screen. All of this seems to work fine for me. Let me know if this helped or if you still have problems. I hope you have fun playing this pretty interesting game. I will also post a low intelligence let's play of Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. Hope to see you there. Until next time, ciao!